Hey guys, it's Shino Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of can you hijack the new vehicles on Halo 4 on MCC? So, by new vehicles, I mean the ones that were newly added to the Forge mode of Halo 4 on the Master Chief Collection. And those vehicles include the Broadsword, the Pelican from Campaign, and, you know, the, well actually those, those are the main new vehicles. But they also added the, uh, the Turretless Warthog or the Unarmed Warthog in the game. But anyways, we'll be mainly focusing on the Broadsword and the Pelican. So let's start with the Pelican first and see if, um, see if the Pelican can be hijacked by an enemy or if you can hijack the Pelican. So what we're going to do is, well, simply we're just going to drive the Pelican and then have someone on the enemy team see if they can hijack and board the Pelican. So here we go. And as you can see, I'm now driving the Pelican in the driver's seat and you cannot actually board the pelican. In fact, if someone, if an enemy tries to board you, they actually just get into the uh, the gunner seat of the cannon. See, that's the only option you have on the enemy team, which is kind of odd that you even get that option. But yeah, that's that's all you can do. You could also get on the side turrets as well as an enemy, but you will have no option at all to board the pelican. Not, at least not the driver's seat. Um, I haven't checked to see if you could potentially board the other seats as well. Uh, but I'm quite positive you can't because the uh, the pelican was only meant to be used in campaign and as a result it's uh it was never really meant to be boarded by enemies at all so like I don't think it was designed with any like boarding seats available so that like en enemies can you know pull you out of your vehicle but yeah so that's most likely why the pelican can't board it's so let's see that's the ca same case with the uh, the broadsword. So the broadsword is a little bit trickier to test, just because as soon as you get in, it starts flying. And, well, it's a little bit hard to control. So what I had to do was kind of like slowly and carefully fly the broadsword into like, uh, against like a wall or like a, a ditch. And that, that way we can suspend the uh, broadsword a little bit and keep it still long enough for someone to try to try to hijack it or see if they can board it at all. But this actually took a few tries because, um, it, like the the broadsword, like a slight crash would just you know could like blow you up, but yeah. So as you can see there, the enemy cannot board the um, the broadsword. And let me try it again from my perspective, just so you can see what it's like. So with the broadsword in the in place, see I don't even get any option to board it at all, and I, well, there's just no passenger seats e either. So like I can't get into the broadsword at all. So yeah, that's uh, basically all there is to these vehicles. They are, they could be driven and they're really cool and fun to use, but they cannot be hijacked at all. Although the Pelican can have uh, enemies get into like the, uh, the passenger seat or the, the co-pilot seat and the, uh, the side turrets. Now I know some people might also ask this question in the future, so I, I did want to tackle it quickly in this video, just because like I, I didn't really want to do like a separate video for this, but uh, these vehicles, they can be flipped. Now they don't have any messages when they're upside down that says like hold B to flip, but, well actually the Pelican does, it does say hold B to flip Pelican, because in campaign you could potentially flip it upside down, but the broadsword, you were never able to like, there was really no situation in campaign where you could flip the broadsword upside down and have to flip it back up because you never even get out of the broadsword <laughs> in gameplay. So that's why the broadsword doesn't have a message for flipping it. But the pelican does. So that's pretty, uh, it's kind of, it's actually kind of interesting, but now you guys know. So just for the heck of it, since the uh, Turtless Warthog is a new vehicle, technically a new vehicle that was added to uh, Forge on Halo 4, I'll just show you guys just in case somebody really wanted to know. But it was pretty obvious, but you can still there's really nothing changed about the Warthog except for like lacking a turret, but it is still boardable. You can still board it just fine. So yeah, that's basically uh, how it is for each of the new vehicles that are added to Halo 4 Forge on MCC. I didn't get the chance to try the Revenant uh, in, at the time, but I might try that in the future. It's a cut vehicle, but I might wait to see like if anything changes about it in the final game when it releases. But until then, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything else we to check out or look into or any questions you have or things we need to test out, 
just let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely do my best to get around to it and look into it when I get the chance. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to click the little notification icon to stay up to date with the latest videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!